it's me, Kelly. Let me first put my window up. And uh, I'm in my car again. So I thought, well, I'll turn this on, ramble a little bit, see how it turns out. Maybe I'll upload it. Maybe I won't. Um, I'm going up to. I made a video yesterday. It's still not uploaded, so even if I upload that one, I'm gonna have to wait a day or so before I upload this one, so they're not like bang bang. Um, yeah, so a friend of mine, a really good friend, a dear, dear friend who I love to pieces, had hip replacement surgery, and so, and he's a single man who's lived alone for quite a few years, so his place was not what you call, Jesus, I'm in that damn school zone again. I hit this yesterday flying through here. Um, so, you know, not all men, God, not all men, don't get on that topic, but you know, he is a bachelor who doesn't clean. Um, he is getting around really well, but it's time his place is cleaned up, so I've been working at it. I'm going back up again today. I went to the dollar store and I bought these. I know it's hard to see, but they're like super long. Well, what are they? They're like three feet, three feet wide by 72 feet long. They are like a fiber paper fan folded. Jesus, there goes my phone. Light filter, really. And they come with two clips and thing. And, the way his television is situated, the light comes in on the wind on the TV. So I bought two of them because he has a really big picture window. Stay, and uh, hopefully that'll help block in some light for him. I took his curtains down a while ago, and uh, to get washed, and they never got put back up. But I think this is a better solution for him. And what else did I get? I got a couple things. In my dollar store bag. Let me see. I'll do a, a haul while I'm driving. I bought him a kitty litter scoopy poopy thing. I bought some cheap socks because I left mine at home. There's five pairs there for $2.50. I bought some hardware pokey things so that the clips that come with those light filter shade things, Jesus Louise, they have to be clipped to something, so I'm gonna nail a few holes in his wall. Okay, there's some bumps here, just give me a second before I can let go of this, okay. Oh, there she goes again. I don't know what to do guys. I don't know how to stop this from doing that. How about that? Maybe stay. Please stay. I bought him. Okay, it's gonna keep going over to the right, so I'll just keep going over to the right with it. <laughs> I bought his cat a little set of cat dishes. Just geez uh, Louise. Trying to keep from swearing. It's gonna sneak out soon. Kiss, kiss seat. I bought his kitty some temptation treats. I know the cat's out at work. Love them to pieces. Oh, and I bought him his cat a thing of whiskers. Whiskers? Yeah. Whiskers. Anyway, I came to twenty dollars. If there's a way to spend money, I will find it. Anyway, I'll just set this. See, now, the way that this phone is angled, I'm like down below, okay. Bumps. These are the roads we drive on here in, not all of Nova Scotia, because I drove over the weekend some beautiful roads. Beautiful highways, but our freaking roads, our feeder roads, our town roads, they're all like shitty, torn up. It is a 11 degree day, very overcast, but just enough light to make you go like this and cause more
more lines here like I need them and more on my forehead. Anyway, I'm just coming up here to uh, clean, rearrange some things, hang some light things. It's like 122, then I'm gonna head home. I'm thawing some chicken, and I peeled some potato. And I have a bag of frozen veggies in water on the stove sitting for supper tonight. Other than that, guys, Sharon, if you should happen to watch this video, um, I watched your video about being in your new place and being scared, and uh, I completely understand that. I, I am a person who does not like to be alone, ever. I mean, I should say ever. I do have... When I'm not working, I'm home by myself days, and I love it. I love having the house to myself, to do whatever. I don't like anybody in my way. But to live alone, I'm not a person. I'm a very social, <clears throat> I don't wanna say loving, but I, I love companionship with somebody. But yes, I just said somebody, somebody someone so it is scary to be by yourself you know I may be soon I still not I still have my kids with me but it's not the same like they do keep me company and they are great but it's not the same as having another adult to I don't know share personal time with or just nurturing loving kind of time with or I don't know. I, anyway, anyway, my point is, I left you the comment and I said, you do inspire me, you do inspire me because I do have some life choices that I have to make and watching you be strong is helping me to make changes for myself. You know, I've been a caregiver my whole life and I even went into the nursing trade to be a caregiver but I don't give a shit care about myself you know I have bad habits not gonna name them out loud but I eat like garbage all the time McDonald's 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 I like daily I'm not even kidding you daily poisoning myself with this garbage but I'm addicted to it I just I love it I love food in general but I know that I'm not doing the right things for myself, but yet I keep doing it. And it's time that I actually start caring about my physical needs as well as my emotional needs. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm 40, I'm gonna be 45 in October. So, you know, life passes so fast. Like, it just seems like yesterday that I was, you know, I don't know, 30 even. And that's what I keep telling my daughters. You know, I have one that's going to be 20. It's like, listen, I'm telling you, in the blink of an eye, you're going to be 30 years of age. Start living your life now and be happy with your choices. If you're not happy with something, don't drag it out. Anyways, I uh, have to start living by my own <laughs> guidelines that I want my own family to live by. So Sharon, you hang in there. I know it's rough. It's going to be rough for me too. I don't know how I'm going to afford it. I'm worried about my McDonald's habit have to go. <laughs> um, I am joking, but uh, yeah. And you're going to be okay. And I will be okay too. Anyway guys, thanks for sharing this time with me and uh, I'll try to make another one soon. Bye.